Hi, I'm James with TVS Pro, and this is the second video of our DJI Spark series. This one on intelligent flight modes, and particularly the ones that are not available in any of DJI's other systems. For tripod mode or active track, those ones you're going to want to click on this video link here, and that will take you to those. All of those video, all of those flight modes pertain to all of DJI systems. Mavic. Phantom 4, Inspire 2, and now of course the Spark. I want to talk about Quick Shot. These are modes that are only available in the Spark. Let's dive in. Before you can get into any of the intelligent flight modes, it first has to take off. Assuming you've watched our first video and you've enabled active gimbal control as well as backward flying, you can now do a palm launch. So I've got it powered on and I'm connected with my app. I'm going to give the battery a double press to activate the facial recognition and have it take off from my hand. Once the lights go red, you can let go. Now that it's in the air, on the left hand side, you're going to see a radio button. That is where you will find all of the intelligent flight modes. Again, we've already covered active track, tap fly, tripod, and gesture mode. And you'll want to watch our other intelligent flight mode to learn those. But Quick Shot, that is brand new as I mentioned to the Spark. Let's get into it. So in order for Quick Shot to activate, it has to be tracking something. So you've got to get it a little bit further away from you. And then when you touch Quick Shot, you highlight something. Now here's a tip for you. If you've enabled the virtual stick control and you go to touch the screen, it's going to respond as if you are controlling the copter. So now that I've touched Quick Shot, I'm going to highlight myself. So now that I've got myself highlighted, I've got four options, Drony, Circle, Helix, and Rocket. Drony, the first one, is going to go backwards and upward, and you don't have to hit record. It'll do that automatically. So now that I've got myself highlighted, I can say go, it starts recording, and it flies in reverse, as well as increasing its altitude for a great drone selfie, or if you will, droney. Now remember, it does not have rear sensors for obstacle avoidance. So to stop it, you need to hit the red X on the left hand side. Next one is circle. Again, in order to initialize, you have to highlight something. So I'm going to track myself again. I'm gonna select circle on the bottom left hand side and say go. This is basically point of interest it's going to do a circle around the subject. And at the same time, it will track that object. So as I move, it does too. Third intelligent flight mode. Again, highlight an object. And your options appear on the bottom. I'm gonna do helix this time. Helix basically is going to do the same thing we just did with the circle, only it's going to increase its altitude at the same time and tilt the camera to keep it on subject. Once I've selected Helix, I can say go, and it automatically hits record for me. I don't have to do it. And now it's scooting back and increasing altitude and tilting that camera. So for the fourth and final intelligent flight mode, Rocket, you have to be directly over the top of your subject. So I'm going to enable the virtual joysticks and fly it over the top of me. Oh. Oh, that feels good in this heat right there. Okay, so it has a fifth intelligent flight mode, which is coolie. It does the coolie, doing the coolie dance. That feels really good. Okay, I'm going to aim the camera down using my gauge on the right hand side and highlight myself. Oh, I first have to disable virtual sticks, select rocket and say go. Once again, it hits record for me and it starts to standing up all the while looking down at me. There is your sound of music shot. Okay, I'm getting dizzy. Now the most basic of intelligent flight modes is gesture control, which we've already activated. If you want to go back to gesture control, you need to make sure that you have enabled in the intelligent flight mode section, gesture control. Once you've done that, if I hold my hand out, those front lights go green and it's now tracking my palm and I can control the copter using the force. 
or rather optical and IR sensors. From here, if I wave at it, it then scoots back 10 feet and increases its altitude slightly, all the while still tilting that camera aimed at me. So it's now kind of in active track, and as I move around, it's going to continue to follow me. I can make a gesture, put my phone in my pocket, go like this, and as we've done in this park before, three seconds, snaps a picture. When I'm done with my phone in my pocket, I make a Y signal, and this is the beckon mode. I'm now telling it to come back home. So now that I've initiated beckon, it comes to me, hovers at about four feet, and I can simply put my hand underneath it, and it lands. That is the DJI Spark. If you've got questions or concerns, kind of simple questions or troubleshooting, feel free to leave some comments down there below, and I'll do the best I can to get to them. But for in-depth troubleshooting, I recommend that you contact the dealer or the source from whom you've purchased it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Good luck and happy flying. Thank you.